The Best Christmas, based on the original story by Disney Press, adapted and told by July Leonard, inspired by Tony Pilot's Casey Jr. and Friends and the Milan Toon Channel's The Railways of Crotunia. It was Christmas time on the Fantasyland and Fairytale Railway Traction Company Limited. Many people on engines had been very busy preparing for this time of the year. At the WDP Circus, even the circus animals, along with the ringmaster and the circus train engineers, Landon and Emery Elizabeth, had been busy too putting up lots of decorations on their tent and tree. There, said Timothy Q. Mouse, once he had put the star on top of their tree. This reminds me of our Christmas vacation in New York. Christmas vacation in New York? asked his father. You and Dumbo celebrated Christmas in New York? his mother asked. Yes, said Timothy, once he and Dumbo flew down. Wow, said Perry. We didn't know that you and Dumbo had Christmas in New York, Louis added. Emily and Nia agreed. How about if I tell you? Yeah. I still remember it to this very day. Timothy Key Mouse's family sat down. Then Timothy himself told them his story. Years before Casey Jr. and the WDP Circus moved to Colville, December came in 1941 years ago. Months had passed since Dumbo rose from an outcast to the main star of the show and been reunited with his mom, Mrs. Jumbo. Snow had fallen in New York City one December morning. Dumbo, the flying elephant, woke up to find the circus grounds strangely quiet. He stuck his head outside the tent. Where was everyone? Then Timothy Q. Mouse appeared. It's the Christmas holiday. It's the Christmas holiday, he announced. Time to sleep late, play in the snow, and get ready for all the celebrations. Dumbo looked puzzled. What was Timothy talking about? Aw, oh, don't tell me you've never heard of Christmas before, Timothy said in disbelief. Just then, out of the blue, the five crows came cawing and flying over. Hey, fellas, he called up to the crows. Come on down here. I need help explaining Christmas to Dumbo. The birds gathered around. The elephant began in... The elephant and... Be around the birds gathered around the elephant and began to chatter all at once. Why Christmas is a why Christmas is packages wrapped up in shiny paper. Now wait a minute. What about fancy holiday food? Don't forget a big tree covered in ornaments and lights and music. You can't have Christmas without carols. Now do you understand? Timothy asked Dumbo. The elephant shook his head. He was even more confused. Hmm, Timothy said. This is going to be harder than I thought. He and the crows huddled together and quickly came up with a new plan. Dumbo, said Timothy, forget telling you about Christmas, we're going to show you. Timothy Q. Mouse scampered up onto Dumbo's cap. Get ready for takeoff, he cried. The crows took to the sky, Dumbo flapped his ears, heaving himself into the air to follow right behind them. They flew and flew and flew until, finally, a magnificent skyline came into view. Welcome to New York City, Timothy announced. I can't think more of a more Christmassy place, except maybe the North Pole. Timothy was raised in New York before he came to the circus, and he thought it was the best place on Earth. The little mouse gave Dumbo a tour of the bustling city, starting with the most festive place in New York. That's Rockefeller Center, Timothy pointed out as they flew over a large tree. Below, ice skaters glided and twirled around a sparkling outdoor rink. Dumbo couldn't take his eyes off of the enormous tree, covered from top to bottom in twinkling lights and pretty decorations. Timothy could tell that Dumbo was impressed. What I tell you? the mouse asked. People here just don't deck the halls, they decorate everything. Dumbo looked at all the people on the streets, full of holiday cheer. Some carried brightly wrapped packages, some were singing carols, 
Everyone gazed up at the big, great big tree. The sights and sounds of Christmas made Dumbo's heart fill with happiness. Now he couldn't wait to find out more about the holiday. Timothy, Q Mouse, and Dumbo flew down Fifth Avenue, where the stop window, where the shop windows were filled with beautiful Christmas displays. Dumbo watched the shoppers hurrying around with large bags of presents. Timothy saw something else. Hmm, that's strange, he said. People. People keep leaving presents in a box in front of that store over there. Come on, let's go and find out what's going on. When Dumbo swooped down closer to the crowd, everyone cheered. They never seen a flying elephant before. Dumbo felt like he was performing in one of his shows. What are the presents for? Timothy Q. Mask asked a woman. Is it for the store's birthday or something? The woman chuckled. Then she explained that the packages are toys for the children. There's just one problem, she continued. The snow has slowed down the traffic, and I don't know how we're going to make all of our deliveries on time. The boys and girls will be so disappointed if they don't get their presents this year. Timothy looked at Dumbo, and Dumbo looked at Timothy. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? The mouse asked. Dumbo nodded enthusiastically. Ma'am, said Timothy, Dumbo and I would be happy to help spread a little Christmas cheer. I know this city like the back of my hand, and Dumbo here never needs to worry about stuff like traffic. You can consider those presents as good as delivered. The people on the sidewalk cheered. Thank you, Dumbo, one man said. I knew Santa had a flying had a new Santa has flying reindeer, but I didn't know he had a flying elephant. Shh, Timothy replied. Timothy replied with a mischievous wink. It's supposed to be a secret. Dumbo was given a sack of presents and a list of names and addresses. Ho ho ho! Timothy called out as he and Dumbo flew off into the sky. The pair arrived at their first stop. Through the window, they could see children hanging their stockings over the fireplace with care. When they saw Dumbo and Timothy Q. Mouse, they shouted with joy. Timothy handed each child a brightly wrapped present. Thank you, they cried as Dumbo and Timothy flew away. And Merry Christmas! And Merry Christmas! Dumbo and Timothy flew from one house to another. They dropped off dolls and dump trucks, books and building blocks, puppets and puzzles. Every once in a while, the crows took a break from sightseeing to pitch in and sing some Christmas music. They are the funniest carol, carol singers that kids have ever seen. Timothy's favorite part is watching the children and their parents when they spy Dumbo outside their windows. They blink and rub eyes wondering if what they were seeing could possibly be real. What's the matter? Timothy would say playfully. Haven't you ever seen a flying elephant before? Then he'd laugh. Dumbo loved the way that the children's faces lit up when he gave them their presents. It made him feel happy right down to his toes. Welcome, welcome back and to visit them again soon, Dumbo, Timothy said as they headed home. I promise. Back at the circus grounds, Timothy and Dumbo landed and Mrs. Jumbo was waiting for them. She was very pleased to see them again. They were exhausted from making all the deliveries. So Dumbo, Timothy asked, now do you know what Christmas is all about? Dumbo wasn't listening though. He was thinking of all the children he had met that day and how he and Timothy had made them smile. It was the it had been the best Christmas. Seeing Dumbo's happy expression, Timothy said, Yep, I think you do. Mrs. Jumbo giggled in with agreement. Just then, silence broke in. Wow, Timothy, said Timothy's Key Mouse's father. That was a great story you've told us. And, and look at the time, said his mother, pointing to a clock. We should be ready for bed. 
or, San or Santa Claus won't come, interrupted Mrs. Jumbo. Everyone got, everyone scurried and, and as they got ready for bed. Timothy Q Mouse changed into his pajamas and nightcap, climbed into a sardines can bed, and covered his body. Dumbo and Mrs. Jumbo crawled into their hay bed, and they all and all three fell fast asleep. That night, Dumbo's dreams and his heart are filled with the special magic of Christmas. Thank you.